With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never... I never expected that person to be waiting there. Uh, taking bets, who is it? For you, Hiko? Whoa! Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito? <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why are you here? Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. Get out. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mahito got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. Shut up, shut up. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. Remember that earlier when we talked to Nagito? He knew that Mahito was busy with something, so I don't doubt that he knows something. For her to be killed! If only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Be my guest, be my guest. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right, no matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do feel bad for Mahiru, this is quite exciting! How will everyone overcome despair this time? Looks like you feel no remorse. Ah, uh, your face is not appropriate for this reaction. Jeez, as usual, he's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So, why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? <laughs> you don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monomi- What?! Monomi. Yes, it was me! You! Why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? I know. Did I do bad? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You're not my friend anymore. Why did you do this? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is what Monokuma wants you guys to do. Yeah, but this guy is no friend of mine. <laughs> Hajime, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point too. Psh, psh, spit on you. Psh. You have no right to say that. But now is not the time for friends to fight. Friends to fight. There's gonna be a class trial for Mahiru, right? That's right. That's why everyone must work together and have Monokuma. Enough. Enough already. Just go away already. Understood. For once, I agree with everyone telling you to get the hell out. Why are you even interfering anyway? Nagito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Uh. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending? <laughs> Wait, so... We, we are a worst gamer. We are worse than Nagito. How sad is that? So, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I will try to be useful in my own way. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. Ah, uh, very, very ambiguous answer. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! No, no. Hajime, let's just move on and start the game. You know, I don't doubt at all that Nagito will bring in something useful later, but whatever he brings in, since he's so he wants more despair so that there's more hope later, right? So whatever he has to say, even if it's true, it might not be something that we want to hear. You're right. Well, okay, do we want to look at the clock again? Yeah, so this thing has like 19 days left. Something gonna happen? It looks like a bomb. Can we assume that it'll act like a bomb? 
Monokuma and Monomi aren't too concerned about it though, and I don't think they've made any reference to it, so it's kind of strange. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? I feel like I'm just gonna repeat the second day and fourth day again, and then get a game over. So, if there is a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? When you get a game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that... Down 5! Are you talking about the message that says down 5? Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down 5 drinks or something. Oh haha. Ha. It means that you have to press down 5 times. Then the hidden command is... You just have to press the down button 5 times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Hey, Nagito got it too. You're just the dumb one here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. <laughs> exactly. In fact, Nagito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Hajime is not a very thorough kind of person, so that's why we missed this. Okay. Yes, I will do it with my hands, okay. Oh! The screen changed, she was right. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome Murder Cases Truth Edition. Whoa, why well, the music cut out? I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. No, the escape key doesn't work. Let me try again. Nope, it doesn't work. I have to press the mouse. We open with a specific murder case. A tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the girls, Girl E, is murdered. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start with the first day when it all began. 1 out of 10 on Metacritic. Too many words in the beginning. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, we're gonna go home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. Come on, Girl B. You don't have to be that mad. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. <laughs> Why are you waiting for Girl A if you're not good friends? I I'm not your friend? What? There's no way I'd be friends with a nasty, trashy pig shit like you. Okay, Girl B is Hyoko, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> the way Girl B treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Huh, is Girl E here yet? Huh, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit, huh? Maybe it got stolen? Stolen? You don't know? A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. Kih, you should be super careful, girl, A. Eh? A chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girl A is getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully girl A. What was that sound? 
It sounded like glass breaking. It sounds like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Wait, no. Oh, come on. Why are you going without me? I don't want to go alone. Oh, man. And it's yellow already. Oh? Is there something here again? Nope. Oh! There's something on the floor. It looks like a note. Boo, boo, boo. Try looking carefully at class A during a rainy day. Hmm. Is this some kind of prank? Isn't this class A? Is it raining right now? What? Maybe... Um... There's not much else. Yeah, that was 1A, so... Didn't it say, you know, to look at it during a rainy day? Oh. Yep. Okay. So now this time we can't go to B. Worth a try anyway. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so scared! Looks at everything on this floor, except for the thing I'm supposed to look at. <sighs> Girl E, what happened? I don't know. I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But, I have a bad feeling about this. Remember that this is day one? One day before the body was found. Well, actually, the body was probably found today. I found the key! Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away. Wow, they're so brave. Okay. Girl A, you lead the way. Huh? Me? Come on! Hurry, hurry! Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm not leading the way. Are you kidding me? Screw off! I'm scared, too! We can look around first. It's fine. It's fine. Home ec prec room. I don't want to go in because I don't want to be the leader. Oh! No. Huh. A note's been dropped here, too. Boo, boo, boo. Good for you for finding it! Now then, I should hurry up and complete it, instead of coming up with lame ideas. Making video games is so annoying! I should never make them again! Hey! Game Dev Monokuma, Easter Eggs Edition. Sweet. Ah, cause this is an A classroom too, but on the second floor. Okay. Um... Come on, hurry up and open it! I don't want to! Thrills! Chills! What the hell? <gasps> I wanna talk to B! B! Hurry, hurry! Okay. Well, since we got the mono coins already, I highly doubt that anything else on this floor is relevant. Okay. Ooh. How about you, girl? You wanna go in? Oh, come on, hurry up and look. Oh, wow, these are keyboards on the desks. Oh, my God. Um, uh, the fish tank's broken. Why? I like how girl A sees a body, or like, well, a person. We don't know if they're dead yet. I don't see any blood. But yeah, she's like, oh my god, a fish tank's broken. Oh yeah, there's a body here too. <laughs> Someone's laying on the floor.
this? She's not laying down. She's dead. It's dead? Oh, it's red, it's red. That's impossible. Why? You should know. Yeah! Lower your voice. They might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murdered, huh? Seriously, shut up! What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? What should we do? What should I do? I see. So that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Are you talking about the window? Escape route? Could it be... The fish tank, obviously. Oh, the window is open. The sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music room door from the inside, and after killing this girl, they broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something when she died, but I can't seem to find anything bloody here. Okay, why? Um, why would someone escape through the window, though? Because, yeah, they didn't even open the window. They freaking, like, just ramboed through it, so it doesn't make me think that they escaped because they want to attract less attention. <laughs> What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So, the killer just ran out the window? But if they just wanted to escape or run away, they could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? Did they want you to find the body? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by the window tip is tipped over and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they were frantically trying to get away. What? How is, how is that a truth bullet? What? It's not too high to jump from the second floor, so maybe they thought it'll be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you'd have to either lock it from inside the music room or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have had time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the door could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Oh my god. Also, to get outside from the music room, they need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Well... Ghosts are usually invisible. <laughs> Just saying. Which means the killer's only escape route was this window. Remember what Kyoko said about uh, locked room mysteries? There's a possibility that perhaps the killer is still in the room right now and we just can't see them. What if they're hiding in the piano? <laughs> it's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Hmm. You know how girl E was acting so suspicious, being like, Oh, please forgive me, girl, uh, girl who died? I wonder if she's the one who broke the window. <laughs> huh. Huh? My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the pervert who stole girl E's school swimsuit also murdered that girl over there? They probably locked the music room so that they could rape her. But what? But she ended up resisting. So they frantically tried to get away, broke the window and escaped? This is so weird. Why is all this being a truth bullet? That is... Isn't it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this and the killer might still be around too. That's bad! Uber bad! We better hurry up and run! But... Don't we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first. I definitely don't want that. What?! Yeah... It'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door and leave everything how it was. Don't leave me. Girl D. 
Ha, huh, hey, please wait. Don't leave me. Oh, and then we leave, and then Girl D takes the picture. Yeah, the only smart person in the entire group. Girl D! Sorry, did I make you wait? So, what's up? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me? Huh, what happened? Um, I want you to take a look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom when I was going home. Wait, what is it? What? I can't tell what that is at all. What is it? Glass? What is the red stuff? And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? Ah. Oh. oh. That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What is this? I don't know anything about this vase. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble, right, girlie? Or are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not, that's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You... you didn't say anything either. I knew, you know. I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club. <gasps> photography club. Back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girl E, don't tell me you... killed the girl because she was bullying girl D? That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first, I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so... I felt a sudden rage, and before I knew it, I was choking her. And then, she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault, or yours. It's all her fault. Ha! Huh, girl E! Whoa! That bitch, girl E was it? Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. What? Word is she was with her on? Oh, oh! Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. Looks like she threw away something here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be? The sound of breaking glass was actually this? Wait, how do you know about... Who is this? If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch! What the hell did she do to my little sister? Oh! This is the brother of the victim. Okay. Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that... I will never... I will never forgive her. Looks like... This is the end. Hey, I was actually getting into it a little bit. Now I'm like, oh, okay, I'm playing Danganronpa. <laughs> That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Well, it seems to imply that the guy is the one who killed girl E. Yep, now you filled in all four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think of the characters in this game? 
It was a bad game, no decision points, no nothing. <laughs> you mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. Uh, excuse me! Excuse me, girl A and girl B were the two who had the most romantic chemistry in the entire game. Literally. I think Ibuki would agree with me on this one. No, not that. While you were talking, looks like the ending staff roll started. Staff roll? You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it, probably. What I want to know is on the staff roll? Monokuma? Yep. Monokuma? 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 Oh my god, Monokuma's a programmer too, holy crap. You really talented guy. Oh! Sato. <gasps> oh my god. Fuyuhiko has a little sister. Wait, just now. See, didn't I tell you? What you want to know is going to be on there. Congratulations! You've finally beaten the Toilet Syndrome murder case! Now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know! That's right! That game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident! Wait... Girl E? Well, it can't be Girl E, right? I mean, I mean um, Mahiro can't be Girl E? Because if this was an actual incident, that means girl E is already dead. Is that okay for me to say that? Is that true? By the way, nonfiction means an original story based on historical fact or records. Hey, answer my question. Hmm. But even if this is nonfiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Y yeah, that's true. So if I were one of the people in the credit roll, and I saw my name, I'd be like, what? And actually, Fuyuhiko should be pretty shaken because he's the only guy in that game, and you know, it's pretty obvious it's him. Well, they can't be helped. <laughs> the school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life. At any rate, congratulations! Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game... The envelope. I will give it to you. Ending prize? There was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Fuyuhiko. Boo boo boo, how disappointing. Did you say ending prize? Mm. Like, I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Man, I was too late. If I'd known something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. I love how they freaking have a picture of the ending prize already when we're not even... We don't know what it looks like! But the ending prize isn't the problem. It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought, so it's connected to that this time, too. But... is it really... is it really true? Hey, wait, now I'm pretty sure that Girl D is Mahiro. Because Girl D took pictures and she was the one who was in the photography club in middle school, right? We were already living our school lives and our memories were completely taken. Is something that crazy actually possible? Then, what did they do to us? It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten this game. Okay, while they're talking, I'm trying to think about who is who in the game and... So girl B! Girl A is Mikan, right? Cause useless pig shit. Girl B is Hyoko. But uh... I don't... I don't know if we can see it again, but I... Don't remember seeing Sionji on the list of credits, so that's a little bit curious. Sato, who is that? That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. 
So, do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right. If I get some information from them, I might find out about something. About the mystery behind Mahiru's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Then let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Uh, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see, thanks. That's a huge help. Yeah, we need to talk to them. I am very convinced that... Yeah. Oh my god. Why, hello there, Chiaki and Hajime. We meet again. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? Ah, <sighs> so you caught me. Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you've beaten the game, we must think similarly, right? Uh... No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Oh, no, no. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? Why, the characters who appeared in the Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'll be a waste of time if we both question them, no? If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Well, that's one useful thing he's done so far. Gather everybody. I want to talk to Chiaki. Like, can we go back to the park and talk to her? I just want a list. I want that list again. How can we see that list again? Yep, summary. Characters who appear in it are... Hi, no, not this! Yes? During the game's first day, a murder occurred. Five high school girls discover it. They don't want to get involved so they don't see anything. Or they pretend they don't. Second day... The murder case made the newspaper. Articles said that a pervert was the killer. People never found out about the five girls. Girl D, who I think is Mahiru, took pictures of the crime scene. The girls were afraid that they'd be cursed, but Girl E got angry and ripped the photos to shreds. Hmm. Girl E? Who is Girl E? Mahiru summons girl E. Yup. Girl E? Girl E didn't know that guy F recovered the photo. Girl E hears a voice saying I'll never forgive you and dies from a, bl from a blow to her head with a metal bat. Chiaki! I want the list of people! This game used our school life as a setting? Is it really true? Oh, come on. Are you serious? Just give me the goddamn list. You can't hide it from me. You can't hide it from me. It's gotta be here somewhere. Please. Seriously? Huh. The ending prize? It might be... Our memories. Well, not the memories itself, but like a summary of what we happened, what we lost. Because remember that for you, Hiko said he had a little sister who could take over the clan if anything happened to him? But he doesn't remember that she died already. Because I think she's the one who got killed in the beginning. That's why it said Kuzuryu twice in the credits. But uh, I didn't, I don't remember all the names. Zumiki, Mika was there. Koizumi, Mahiru was there. And then there was like a Sato. Who the hell is Sato? And then Kuzuryu twice. And then I don't remember anything else, so... Oh, I think Miyoda was there too, so... Huh... It's kind of funny because uh, Girl B's voice, I was already reading it like it was Hyoko, without knowing that it was Hyoko. 
So preliminarily, girl A equals Mikan. Girl B equals Hyoko. Girl D is Mahiru. Girl E. Who's left? So it's Ibuki and like some other... Oh god, I need that list. I need that list. Apparently, everyone's gathered at the airport on the first island. To solve this case, we need to get information from them. From the girls who are believed to be characters in the game. Ah, uh, I don't think we talked to the killer during free time this time. I just don't get the feeling, you know. So maybe we'll just we'll just go talk to them then. Chiaki is here. Yep, everybody at the airport. All right. No, we don't need it. We don't need it. Tell me the freaking credits. I don't know why asking to see the list again is such a such a big thing that you won't let me do it. <laughs> see here, airport, airport. Ha, <laughs> Jime, over here. Mikan, Ibuki, Hyoko are all here. And the names on the staff roll for Twilight Syndrome murder case were... Tsumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuryu. <laughs> yeah. I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Huh, Nagito didn't make mention that there were two Kuzuryus. <laughs> so unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. <laughs> it's okay to be absent? I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? I mean, you said Morokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came here because you told us that. Ah, uh, dirty, dirty, but I mean, Nagito got them here, so I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. A lie? <laughs> Tricked us! What the heck? Fine, then I'm leaving! Mate. Can you wait until we finished our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like I'm on the same team as Nagito. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get information from them. So, okay, Chiaki is here. We're missing one person though. We're missing whoever Sato is. So... I'm guessing maybe okay, either Sato is someone that we don't know or someone here has a different name. And if I had to guess who had a different name, who has the most suspicious name out of everyone here? And uh, it has to be a girl too, so out of the girls. Well, it's only Sonia or Peko. Peko Pekoyama is a pretty suspicious name. Just saying. That's a pretty suspicious name. <laughs> hey, Yubuki. Can I ask you something? Bring it on! Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case? Um... Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I thought you liked gaming. Pretty sure that's a lie, but... Now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Her unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game too. Was there? I don't really remember if anyone was yelling all the time. It's C. C. Was it C? Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? Hmm? You mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiru was... Hmm... When I asked Mahiru this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? <sighs> yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with the department store rooftops. Let's stay focused on Mahiru. It turns out Mahiru had some business too, and she wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... 
Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Uh... Nope, I didn't ask. I see. Mahito invited Ibuki? Why? Hmm, well, Mahito has, Mahito has obviously played. Ibuki, I can believe that she hasn't played, because she's... Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you have a minute? Of course you do. Have you played Twilight Syndrome? Mikan? No, since we said we weren't gonna play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. Oh, but I thought Chiaki taught you. I'm pretty slow, and I panic instantly. Yeah, I can imagine, like, if Mikan saw that red health bar, she would be like, Oh my god! Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Okay, why- Why are they giving a freebie to me and not giving it to me about Ibuki? <laughs> anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mihiru? <gasps> relationship with Mihiru? <laughs> I first met her, um... When we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... Oh, could it be? Did Mahito hate me? <laughs> That's definitely it! She hated me! She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she hated me, for her to actually invite me, she must have been a really kind person. Mahiro probably played the game and wanted to invite everyone related to the game to her business, right? Hmm? Invite? <laughs> Mahiro invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. But if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Hmm, well, we know that Hiyoko did not turn her down. Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko was invited also. Mahiru invited Mikan? Why? I see. Looks like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. It seems like Mahiru also beat the game. Why... why do you know that? If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she did beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. I hate that this guy is basically schooling Hajime right now. <laughs> but in her case, it was much more serious, probably. Well, yeah, if you're the one in the freaking credits! I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. Mm. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahito would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Negito, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Huh? You! Did you? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mahito? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. <laughs> Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. <laughs> That's disrespectful toward Mahiru. <laughs> There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. That's all it was. What the heck? But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hiyoko. If Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hiyoko? She never talked to me at all! Man, what a surprise! I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Wow, this girl is, uh, serious. I- I want Hyoko to meet Celeste. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Uh, hey, Hyoko! Ignoring my voice, Hyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. 
Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. I'll see you again later. Ha hey! What the heck is his problem? Even his exit was pushy. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat the game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. She might have that. Oh, the ending prize. Well, we know she doesn't. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Mm. Uh, that's your cue to say yes. Well, girls? Okay. It's strange though, why the heck did they just give me it right off the bat that Mikan is girl A? So I'm guessing girl C? D was Mahiru. E is... I don't know who E is. Sato. Who is Sato? 